are looking good out there. I mean, this, well, we have a few out there that are really nice, but the one that we're looking at over here off to the, I think it's off to the left of our screen there. That is going to be the LAX camera. Now this one's Burbank. Burbank camera's looking really good. Uh, we're around 58 degrees over in a Burbank, and it's a nice sunrise for most areas here in Southern California. Over to Long Beach. Hey, good morning, everybody. We are doing well. We are seeing temperatures across areas of Long Beach, hitting about 57 degrees, but visibility is down. Yeah, this is one of the only spots, though, that I'm seeing here in Southern California that is really dealing with reduced visibility. So some of these spots really are going to be uh, tough to drive around in if you're in Long Beach or Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm not really seeing much more than that, though. We're around 54 degrees if you're heading out towards Bo uh, areas of right Wrightwood, rather, and then Beaumont 55. 57 over into Los Angeles and 58 degrees into Burbank. It's a cold start. Covina, you're only around 49 degrees this morning, so you want to take a sweater or jacket with you if you're heading out the door. There's that area of high pressure just to the south of us. Now, this is going to be still impacting our forecasts. An area south of us, a high pressure system, doesn't usually impact us for this many days. But today, it's still about 81 degrees into Los Angeles. We're going to see that ridge slowly break down a little bit. So for tomorrow, we're down to 78, a little cool down. We have more onshore conditions setting up for Friday and Saturday, too. And so Saturday, you'll notice enhanced cloud coverage. The reason being, well, we have a hurricane down through the south. This is Hurricane Christy, not making any impacts other than out towards the Pacific Ocean spinning around by itself out there. And with that, we're going to see just the clouds return to Southern California, more subtropical clouds through the area, and then waiting, waiting for an area of low pressure to swing on southbound, eventually getting a trough moving through Southern California. And I think that trough will dig down by the time we're heading into your Monday. So Monday, that could mean not only reduced temperatures, but also a chance of rainfall, maybe in the way of drizzle. I don't think we're going to have very much measurable rainfall, but a little drizzle would be nice. 86 degrees out there in the Riverside, 83 into Mission Viejo. Foothill communities right back into those mid 80s, 84 degrees over into Covina, 76 into Long Beach and heading into Inglewood, 79 and then returning to Santa Clarita, 90 degrees on the way. Los Angeles, Inland Orange County, 81. We're down to 78 degrees on your Friday, on your Saturday, then Sunday it's 75. We have some morning drizzle on that Monday. And yeah, it could be a lot cooler out there. 63 degrees. Look at some of these overnight lows. We're falling down into the 40s for next week. So chilly nights ahead. Fall weather returns. You're going to want those longer sleeves, maybe a little bit more layering. And then heading for the valleys in the Empire, it's 86 today. Then it's down to 68 degrees on your Monday. That turnaround is pretty significant for Southern California. Almost 20 degrees in a 24-hour period. Not usual. But again, there's that 20% chance of rainfall. Again, hopeful that we can get a little something out of this. Uh, hopefully we can call it something that we can and add to the totals as that water year starts. The beaches are back to about 69 degrees, 70 on your Saturday, down to 61 Sunday and Monday, 62. Our mountain communities are going to get right back to 72 today. 50s on the way Monday, 40s on Tuesday. Freezing conditions down to 17 degrees overnight Wednesday. Deserts 87, then down to 63 on Tuesdays. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.